Howdy, happy converse. It's a nice Sunday night here, just watching the game. But in the meantime, I thought I'd make out this video on this Mick Tuning Red, Green, Blue Daytime Running Lights that I got on Amazon for 17 bucks. Hey, you can't beat that, can you? I installed this in June of 2021. It's now the beginning, first week of November 2021, so it's still running fine after six months. No problem whatsoever, it's not leaking, nothing's fading, no flaking on there. All right, I tried another brand, but it was like 24 inches. The one I got, the mid tongue, is 18 inches. And for my particular vehicle, I just, I didn't want to cut it, all right? So, of course, I just got the 18 inches, all right? And it works. I uh, didn't have to do anything else, no modification, except I cut the wires because I wanted to install it a different way. So I'm putting up this video, okay, in its entirety, all right? It might seem a little amateurish, but it is what it is. That way there's no cutting it and trying to get all these, you know, these videos that people come out. It's nice and clean. No, it's you'll see the mistakes I make and pauses. Anyway, I'm putting it up so you can see my experience, give you some ideas, and install it a different way based on your particular situation. Like I said, it's on cut from it's an amateur's viewpoint. From my viewpoint, some parts might not pertain to your particular installation, but simply get the basics of it, uh, of which I posted the tips at the end so that you can read it better of how I installed it. Now, the video starts off all right with me having it placed on top of the headlights. Real easy, all right. I didn't need to show you what the product looks like. You can see it on Amazon, all right. That's that's where I got mine anyway. Whatever you get out of the video, I hope it helps one or two people thinking about putting this on theirs. You know, whether it's the Rav4 Prime, whether it's a Toyota Corolla, or whatever it might be, all right. Whether it's this one that you get, or another daytime running lights, my suggestion. Is to try it out first meaning plug it in all right and make sure it works for you for your particular vehicle you know you don't want to install it and find out, oh it ain't working right you don't when you turn on the flashers left or right it doesn't work you want to try it out first to make sure it's what you like because sometimes the color is a little different all right now like my situation I bought some extra Electrical wires, as I know the basic wires on this is kind of short. So I wanted to lengthen it so it'll go around my vehicle and where I want to put it. It wasn't long enough. All right. The same thing with adhesive. All right. You've seen some comments on there. Hey, that adhesive is weak. It's no good. It doesn't last. It's a simple fix. I mean, they're not that expensive. Go get some great 3M adhesive tape. Replace the ones on the back and put this, put that on there, and it's an easy fix. So don't complain about it. This and that, all right. What can you expect from seventeen bucks? But I'll tell you, for seventeen dollars, uh, this is the bomb. I mean, you can't beat it. Even if this right now goes out next year or in a week or two weeks, I'm still gonna get the same thing because it's lasted for six months for seventeen bucks. You can't beat it, all right. And mine's still running fine all right now don't worry about subscribing or anything okay who cares about all that i just want to pass on my experiences and that's about it for right now watch the video and have a nice day Now, is it the hardest thing I'll ever have to do? I don't think so. I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being the easiest, 10 being the hardest as far as installation, I would say it's about a 3. And that's simply because I have to take the time to make sure I route it properly and I got the wires uh, marked correctly. That's it. Okay, just wanted to show you real quick the route that I'm taking. 
for the placement of a 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime LED Mekong here, Metonian, whatever it's called. I've already pre-wired and installed here. Wire loom for protection. You don't have to do this, it's up to you. Like I said, there's no right or wrong, it's just a matter of choice. This quarter inch by 14 feet from Harbor Fate, $2.98. More than enough to run four wires in here. All right, these are 16 gauge wires, so it's thick enough. You don't need to get that thick, but it's up to you again. This is the route behind coming around here, coming in here, and here. Now just so you know, if you want to, you can just run it through along the firewall. But it's up to you. It's your choice. So I'm going to get this hooked up and we'll be back. Okay, we're going to test it. Got it hooked up just like before. Like I said, back in the loom there. Goes around. Back here. And... That's where it is. So, we got it grounded here, our auto test light, 12 volt. See if it's working. And see it flashing? That means the connection is good. Okay, go, just a quick tip here for you people in case you're stripping these very thin wires that is from the control module or decoder module, whatever you want to call it, control box or from the LED lights itself, alright? They're very thin. You can use good wire strippers but if you don't have any because it's so small, just take a razor blade, real easy. Okay, put on a sharp edge. Don't worry, you're not gonna hurt yourself unless you put too much pressure and just slightly roll it over back and forth. This hand right here is twisting the wire as it rolls over. Like that. Not a lot of pressure, just a little bit, just to score it. Then when you're done, where you scored it, take your fingers, just pull slightly there. Okay, takes a little practice. You know, a couple of times I messed it up, but you know, I got plenty of wires there to practice on. All right, eventually you'll get the weak point, and you'll be able to pull the wire just like that, because you don't want to see these strands. All right, they're very small. You don't want to lose one of them. Okay, you want every single one connected to make the proper connection. All right, the same thing here again. One more time on the ground. Extend your knife. Roll it over a couple times. Like that. What you want to do is just weaken that part where you can pull it. Just like that. See? Pull out the rest. Alright, that's your tip. Okay, on my 2021 RAV4 Prime, this is the turn signal. I know some vehicles have different wiring, 3, 4, mine, it's just a ground and a hot, already tested it, here's the hot, all I did was just strip back a little right here, okay, I didn't cut it through, so I'm just going to tie into there, yeah, I could use a, one of those T-splices things, but this is good enough, it'll work. I've done it before. 
again it depends on what you want to do no right or wrong it's just a matter of choice and a little handy dandy The reason I don't want to do the T splice, you know, those connectors, is because I want to put it back in the loom there. Just like that. test it for see how secure it is for right now we'll tape it off and Just like that. All right. So we'll put it back in here. Back to the original loom it was in. And there it is. Back in there. Now, if you want to test it to see whether the connection is really good and the power you could always put the ball back in all right leave it there okay here it is on the driver's side the left turn signal got the ball ball so I don't end up touching it messing it up don't want to get no grease on it anyway uh, like I said on the other side, just stripped it back here, okay, and put it back, so exposed a little bit. There it's ready, and just like that. Down, over. It's gonna be like that and I'll tape it off as you see here this is for the driver's side turn signal that is stripped ready here's the module that one stripped ready to go be connected right here don't need to bore you to that to show you how it's connected but it's pretty easy sure anyone already knows how to strip wires or basic stripping anyway get this taped up there it is Together. Make sure it's strong. Okay, good. All right, now do we want to check it? Make sure the connection is good. Of course we do. So let's put the ball back in. Just to make sure. There it is. On there. Here is the other end. Goes to here. Strip back a little bit just to show you. All right, let's turn on the car.
Okay, there we go. We got the left turn signal flashing here. All right. Let's check our connection. Handy dandy 12 volt meter. Is it lighting up? Sure enough. That means continuity and connection is good. Let's move on to the next step. And the last one, the control module. Got it connected here. Taped up. Everything looking fine. Working good. So I know I got good connection all around. And I have to reward don't have to worry about oh man after I put it together something's not working uh, just to give you an idea uh, I did it before uh, messing around uh, when I get it connected put it together this one just stayed on all right and this wasn't working so that's why I got to thinking okay I got some connection problem here somewhere so again to save time check it at each step to make sure the connection is correct before you start tucking everything away all right again that's a tip for you okay i'm gonna put everything away and show you the final product okay this is installed on a 2021 rav 4 prime just to show everybody here on left and right the blue there with the remote and just to show you what it can do, can't do. There it is, pretty nice. Looks better at night, but I'm not gonna be out here at night, just to show you. Not bad for $17. Okay, I'll control the remote. Let me show you how the blinkers work. Car's on. There it is. Hello. And yeah, don't need to show you the hazard lights because they work. Anyway, let me show you the hookup on. Installed. Here it is. That's the way I have it. Easy enough to take off. As you can see from the wiring, just to give you an idea. That hearing noise is on. The EV. Up to use right here. All around. Comes under. Okay, the ground right here goes down in. I'm gonna redo these wires just to show you. It goes under like this the control module and it splice in there. Show you how it goes right there. Okay, here it is. In case you were wondering, just to give you a quick close up here, what it looks like. There's that automated nice hinges there. Anyway, here it is, right here. All right. That's what I got. 
and it goes from here and that's it this is the end it goes under here the wiring and it goes under all the way around here as you can see I got mine going behind there coming around here through here and into here all right and as you can see the wire here that's the ground and the rest is going through right here try to get a better picture uh, better, there it is right there okay and it goes under let me show you here I'll show you a different time, maybe. There you go. All right. There's the wiring. Hot, coarse. Uh, this is the one here. Don't don't let this distract you. This is the main one. Got an inline fuse. Wire, hot. Okay. There's the only one. Okay. Got a connector there. And that's it. Okay, just to show you from a distance how it looks, you can't really tell unless you get right up close to it. Alright, so here's what it looks like from here. And then as you get closer. Like that. Okay? Alright, looks good though.
Cool.